Hi there, this video is going to show you how I deal with um, pictures. Basically, if I take a picture with my camera, um, transfer it to the computer, normally the picture size is too big and you need to resize it down a little bit um, in order to be able to upload it to sites or whatever. So, um, this is going to be kind of a, a simple process. So, a lot of you may already have your own methods and don't care to see this, but it may help out some others. So, let's get to it. Basically, I already took the uh, SD card out of the camera, put it in my little slot down there. So now I'm going to get the uh, picture off of that card. Actually, I actually have a couple pictures in there. So here's one. I'm just going to quickly just drag and drop over on my desktop since I kind of like to work off my desktop. Um, that way I know I can delete the pictures off of it when I'm done. I know that I'm done working on whatever I'm working on. So we're done with this now. So what I want to do now is go start and then type in there uh, PIC, which the first option is Microsoft Office Picture Manager. And in case you don't know where that's at, if you're running XP or something, you can, uh, even though if you're running XP, there's some uh, utilities you can use. It's really easy. You just right click on the pictures and, and shrink them down, but they don't have that for Vista and 7 yet that I know of. Anyways, under Microsoft Office, you have Microsoft Office Tools. If you go in here, here's your Office Picture Manager. So let's load that up. And right away, you probably won't have, if you're working off the desktop like I am right now, you're not going to have that shortcut here. So what you got to do is add a picture shortcut. Or, you know, normally I think it just goes right to your pictures folder. But you can just uh, click on desktop and hit add, and it'll pop up here. So now that we're on our desktop, Let's look at the picture size. Um, you can see by the dimensions it's 1600 by 1200 and that's too big. Um, both of them I think are that size. Yep. So over here you just highlight one or you can highlight multiple ones and click on edit pictures and you have some options here. Um, the ones that I normally use is resize or I may crop. You know if I want to make a, an avatar or something that's small or, or just crop crop out the picture I'd use that and so this one we're gonna resize it's resized it actually before I do that I, I like to keep the originals so let's make a copy of these and just paste them right here and then we'll work off the copies we can rename, rename them later so let's click on resize it brings up another little area here you have some different options um, predefined width width and height um, which I I wouldn't mind doing 800 by 600 but because I'm kind of weird about this stuff, I always go, I drop it by the percentage and I'll just watch it. See, here's your original size and here's your new size. You just keep hitting the down arrow and I'll get down to around 800 just in case it's not exactly 800 by 600, which these are. But like if you have, if you tilted your camera the opposite direction or you crop it out or something, you don't want to mess up the ratio. So I just, I just always uh, adjust the percentage. So 800 by 600 is good. So we hit OK. And then you see little stars, little asterisks right here next to the name. It means it's not saved yet. You need to save it. So control S and they're saved. So now the file sizes are a lot smaller than these were. If you look, let's see. Uh, the original picture was 1600 by 1200, uh, 978K. Now it's 800 by 600, uh, 203K. So that dropped it down considerably. Now, if you do want to crop, I'll just show you real quick. Let's say we want to crop this one out. Uh, let's hit the back button, hit crop. Okay, it brings up a big image, and you can keep the the ratio the uh, ratio too if you hold down. I'm not sure what it is. See, if I just if I just adjust if I just drag this, you can make it any you crop it any size you want. But let's say I want to keep the the ratio. See, I'm holding control right now, and that's not doing a thing. It's it's it's, it's not holding the ratio it is adjusting the whole thing so let's max it out I think it's control shift no I don't know what it is yeah control sh control shift will keep the ratio there you go so you can you can do this and then drag this around and say okay let's crop that out hit enter or not enter hit ok and there you go there's your new crop and then if you just want to save it you just do control s which I'm not going to save this one but that's kind of how I deal with pictures let's don't save that one